So now let's talk about the equilibrium in the, in the ASAD model. Uh, remember, we derived the AS from the labor market, and we used uh, policy changes to expand the AD. And remember, we proved that uh, we are at an equilibrium in the medium run, that is, in the, in the ASAD, in the medium run, if and only if prices equal the expected price level. So remember the expression for the equilibrium in the labor market that was uh, that uh, real wages were equal to uh, this, which was the price setting, uh, equal to this, that was this point right here. And that at that equilibrium point, we would have the natural unemployment level. And that will give us the natural output level. That is, in the medium run. But imagine now that we are not in the medium run, that we are in the short run. And uh, take that price level, the current price level is higher than the expected price level. And that the um, uh, current output is higher than uh, not, uh, natural output. Well, if people were wrong, they expected the price to be uh, lower than it actually is right now, then they will increase their expectations because they were wrong about the, their expectations previously. And uh, if they increase their expectations, then the nominal wage will increase. Remember, uh, when the price, uh, the expected price level increases, then people expect to lose more purchasing power, so will, they will de demand more wages. And if wages increase, then costs increase and uh, prices will increase until the point where uh, the, the, the new price level is equal to the expected price level and output is equal to the uh, natural rate of output again. Remember, the stability point is where wage setters no longer want to change their expectations because their uh, expected price level is uh, is uh, already equal to the to the current price level. Graphically, this would look something like this. This is the um, remember the nominal uh, the, the 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 natural output and uh, that is fixed for the medium run. Whenever we are at this level of output, we are in the medium run. But imagine that for whatever reason, aggregate supply and aggregate demand do not meet here in the medium run. They actually meet here. That is, our short run equilibrium is here. Uh, this could have happened if, for example, there was a, a positive demand shock that uh, brought demand up to here. So that increased prices but uh, the expected price level didn't change. Remember, the expected price level is given by the uh, labor market, and the labor market is embedded in the aggregate supply. So that is just this cut right here. And uh, at this point, uh, the current prices, which is given by the, AA, uh, by the AED, um, is higher than uh, the expected price level. And also, current output is higher than the natural rate of output. So what we've seen here is that uh, the expected price level will tend to go up, and that would also uh, increase wages. And if that happens, then that affects the labor market, and that is just a shift in the uh, AS to the left, because there are higher costs that increase both... Uh, the expected price level and the current price level. You can see this as a movement along this line until um, prices equal the expected level of prices again and we are at the uh, natural level of output again. So we are again at a medium run equilibrium in the ASAD. And we have returned to that medium-run equilibrium uh, through a change in the expected price level.